Audacious Kids, we are in our series of win, of lose, or of draw. And I wonder what kind of week you've had, whether you've had lots of wins, give me a cheer. Maybe any losses, boo. And maybe just a draw where things have been okay. Every week can be really different for us. And maybe, maybe this week you've won a trophy, or maybe you've not won a trophy. Weeks are full of it. And that's what Joseph experienced. He had some great days. Remember last week where he got the special coat and things were going really good and the great dreams. And then, as we've just seen today, he's had a bit of a terrible time, hasn't he? He was sold by his brothers, totally disowned, and they were really mean and unkind to him. And that's what we're going to be exploring for a few moments now. What to do when people are unkind to you. Now, when I was at school, I was about eight years old. I had two best friends, okay? And my best friend was called Kat and another one was called Laura. And we were friends, we would do everything together. We would have playtime together, we'd eat our lunch together, we'd do stuff on the weekend together. We did everything together. Now, one day, a new girl came to class which was amazing because we'd never had a new girl in class and we invited her to come and play with us and her name was Greta and she came and joined in with everything that we did and we had a great time. Our three became four. Now one day, Kat and Laura came over to me and said, Sarah, we've got something to tell you, something, um, something we need to tell you. So I was like, oh, what is it? What, what are we going to play at the weekend? And they went, no, we've made a decision. I'm like, oh, this sounds very serious. What is the decision? Um, they had decided that they were just going to be two best friends on their own because now Greta was here, there was too many best friends. So they were going to be best friends on their own and um, I had to go and make a new best friend. I was absolutely gutted. We did everything together. But then one day they just decided they no longer wanted to be my best friend. <gasps> I was absolutely devastated. Now, maybe you've had something similar where someone's been unkind to you. Maybe someone laughed at you when your team lost at the big football game. That's really mean, isn't it? And maybe there's been other times where someone has been unkind to you. Maybe you have felt like Joseph's brothers as well, that your parents think your brother or your sister is like their favourite child and you're not. Oh, we have so many feelings and so much unkindness can sometimes come our way. And unkindness, I think, can be like wearing a really, really heavy backpack that can weigh us down. Now, at the moment, my backpack's empty, so uh, it's good to go. It's good to be filled with all fun things, but I've got a few things to show you what unkindness could look like. Unkindness can come in all different shapes and sizes, but often it's with the words that people might say to us or the actions they show. So maybe it's someone saying, you're ugly. Maybe it's someone saying you've got a really big nose. It's starting to get heavy. Maybe someone says, oh, you smell gross. Maybe just someone says, I don't want to be your friend. You've got a big head. How mean is that? Maybe you've been called a liar. And maybe you don't even tell lies. But maybe someone said that of you. That is unkindness. And boy, is this backpack getting heavy. Maybe someone said to you, you're never going to amount to much. How unkind is that? Maybe someone's just said, you are the biggest loser. You're not joining in our game. And maybe they've just said, you can't play with us. You're mean. And gosh, after a bit, after we start to listen to all this unkindness, it gets heavy. And when we put it on our back, oof, it hurts our shoulders and can become very, very heavy to carry around. Now, that's a little bit like what happened to Joseph in the story where his brothers were so mean, they beat him and they left him and threw him in the pit. And not one of his brothers stood up for him. No one got by him and said, hey, hey, no, come on, let's help him, he's our brother. Joseph had all this unkindness and nobody helped him. But one thing that we can learn from Joseph is that Joseph looked to God and he knew who he was and who God said he was. And uh, in the story of Joseph, I think we can learn from him. So even in our darkest and hardest times, when unkindness might come our way, we can look to God who tells us truth in his word. And as we listen and find out God's truth, that weight of unkindness 
gets taken away. Maybe, you know, someone said these things, but know that God created you in his own image. He made you. He made you and so loved you dearly. He made you perfect. The Bible tells us that we're really valuable. And in Matthew, it says you're more valuable than the sparrows of the air, the birds. And also says he knows how many hairs are on our head. That means we're pretty special if he knows that amount of detail. Maybe uh, you need to know that God says you're a child of God, that you are an heir of his and precious in his sight. And finally, maybe you just need to be reminded that you don't smell, okay? But God loves you and wants to be a perfect father to you. And as we listen to the words of God that he says about us, that he's got a plan for our lives, that he loves us, this backpack, this weight of unkindness that we've been carrying around suddenly gets released and suddenly helps us to be able to stand up strong and be just like Joseph, who we were made whole to be. And all that unkindness, we don't need to keep hold of it in our backpack, but we just need to look to God and know what God says of us. And if you have a loss, if something wrong happens, it's okay. These things do happen. God still loves you and his word is still true. So let's unpack the hurt and get ready to go again. Let's not kind of retreat and hide away. Let's be like Joseph and go after all that God has in store. Joseph chose to hold on to who he knew God says he was. And audacious kids, let us do the same.